Finally got my keyser almost complete. I've got my four taps in now, so that'll be another episode. I've got my Grumpy Monk tap panel, which I like. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So I'll have another video showing my part four of that. And everything is going well. Cheers. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Wednesday morning getting back into things um, been out of it for a while been busy work's been extremely busy um, life's been busy so which is good uh, so I've got a ton of stuff to catch up on my trip to Boston with Nate Pico in uh, Hotback Nate that was a great time hit a couple really nice places down there so I got some footage of that to get in um, I've got my Keyser build part four that's almost done. Just got to finish my top and get a, a drip tray. Uh, so I'll have one for that. I did a brew day this weekend. It was the first day above 60, which we haven't seen in a long time. So it was nice to get outside finally and just brew for a day. Just sit in the chair, brew, put it around the yard. Um, the yard is still too wet to really get into it too much. So it's just nice to have a relaxing day. So. Uh, one thing I did learn overall, when you're brewing alone, probably best not to do a 10 gallon batch. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of, I mean I've had three back surgeries so it's, it's not fun lifting a 14 gallon brew kettle off the deck up onto a 30 inch tall burner. But I did it, I just wouldn't want to do it often, that's all. Um, so this one's going to be short and sweet so I got the brew day footage and I'll be back next week so have a great week and happy homebrew Wednesday Sunday, April 12th. Gonna brew up some drop kick. Nate. Uh, Nate Pico was kind enough to give me the recipe, so I'm gonna brew it up. I amped it in my beer smith this morning. Uh, we are almost got some snow. It's almost gone. This is the first day above 60 this this year, so we're, uh, I'm gonna brew outside today. So I got my mash water heating up. And getting ready to go. All right, I got all my stuff set up here for me. We are almost to 75 minutes on the mash. I checked the temp; it's right around 150 still, so 149, 148 in that range. So that's all right. That's pretty good. So getting ready to run that off. The only issue I had was uh, I put my water in the mash tun first, then added my grain. So I ended up with not exactly enough room, but I lost about a half a quart, or about a quart, so we'll see what happens. So I'm getting ready to do my runnings right now, so the buzzer just went off at 75 minutes. Got my brew partners, okay bar, is that a guess? Okay, so here I am, getting my first runnings. Okay, but I don't move or nothing. Oh, that's what I have it set at my run rate, so. Where is it? Right, yeah. So hopefully, I'm gonna run it nice and slow. Because that seems to have been the problem I've been having is I've been running my runnings too fast and missing my gravity readings, so hopefully this works. Our boys ready to go. They're doing a little bit of maintenance, getting ready to open up the pool. I'm 
gonna use the water from the quart chiller to help fill the pool, bring it back up to level. So, and I might work on a little bit of this. Almost got all the driveway plowings melted off. I'm gonna go clean that mess up. So, it's a nice day to be outside, though. So I got my make fit shift stand set up. With my fly sparge. Best I could do for what I have. So, so I got 168 degree water going through. I got 11 gallons to put through for fly sparge. In through the mash, into the kettle. Slow cooking some ribs on a brew day. Okay, so I'm down to just heating up my boil water. I've got uh, the right amount of volume. Got my wart chiller ready to go. Got the hose going out to the pool for when I'm ready to run my wart chiller. And we'll see how it goes. Almost ready for a heartbreak. We have boil. Okay, so my watch chill has been in there and I'm getting ready for my five minute hop edition of two ounces of Galaxy. Keeping track of my numbers on the board. Playing with a little yard cleanup at the same time. Everything's going nicely. Okay, so wrapping up here. Getting it done. All my notes are on the board. And I ended up with a 1.040 gravity reading, so ballpark. But I was hoping for a little higher, but we'll see how it finishes out. We have a heartbeat. We are three days into it, and my drop kick Nate is fermenting nicely. <laughs> 